Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. <laughs> About time we did a bit of vlogging for you guys. Uh -huh. It's been a while. Long time. <laughs> we are in Withensea. It's beautiful. We're very happy. It's not one of the main clubs, is it? It's just an independent uh, campsite, which I found. It's like a holiday park. It's like a holiday park. Yeah. A very small one, mainly statics, but there is an area for tourists as well. And yeah, very nice. We nearly moved to Withensea, didn't we? We did. We yeah. applied for a house. Yeah. About January, December last year. No, we this didn't year. get it. Was it this, this year? year? Yeah. We, we didn't, didn't get, get it. it. Someone we else got, got it, it before yeah. us. Um, but that's in Withensea. <laughs> we might try and find it in the next two days. Uh, but we're out. We've got our helmets on. We're going out on the bikes for the first time, pretty much ever. I've been practicing today around the site, so I'm a little bit more confident, but we've never really been out on the bike. We've not been on a road or anything, have we? No, I'm scared of the road, but yeah. <laughs> did you pass your cycling proficiency? I did actually, yeah. That's good. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this camera in the uh, pack. What we have said is we'll have to get as action cameras out and put them on the handlebars. And baskets. And baskets, yeah, that's yeah. For the, all for the future. Yeah. But for now, it's about a mile down to the beach, so we want to get down to the beach and yep. just have a quick look. It's a beautiful day, let's go. It yeah. is gorgeous. <laughs> First time on your bike, well, how did it, it feel, Mazzy? It was so good. You beat me in a race, though. I did beat you in a race, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, really enjoyed that. That was brilliant. The funny thing is, I went on for about three or four minutes before I realised yeah. I had this uh, button here which makes you go whoosh. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, I think that's just for hills. Yeah, that's mainly. your electric. That's, that's the whole power of your bike. No, it, it still powers without using that. You were man that. peddling it, babe. I think that's for when you're going up hills, Mazzy. It just gives you a no. little bit extra. It does. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the problem with that is you're using a lot more battery every time you're pressing that. So if you can get away without pressing it, don't press it. I like pressing my butt, your butt. <laughs> so here we are in Withensea, the seafront. This is where we could have lived, Mazzy. I, I love it here. I wish we could have lived here. Got every pebble you could ever need, Mazzy, down there for pictures. Yeah, actually, I'm after some pebbles, aren't I? Yeah, do a little pause because you look quite nice. <laughs> yeah, not that nice. Anyway, we're just going to go for a cycle down the yeah. promenade and see what's what. So the beauty about having these bikes, it'd have taken us about 25 minutes to get here by foot. And you just get to the places you want to be at straight away. Like here, there's all photos down the side here. There's a little plaque down there. More old photos down here. And you're not wasting your time walking to these places, are you? We're just not used to bikes, we haven't had them since we were kids, so this is a massive, massive treat for us. Check out that photo, look how many people are on the beach back in the olden days. It seems to be the case, wherever you go you see all these old photos, and there's thousands of people there. But exactly. nowadays... Yeah, they're, they're fully clothed as well, like the winter and they're on the beach. <laughs> 1880 this was. There's a fish trail. I've no idea. The Withensea Fish Trail. So you've got 12 different points. So different fish for every point. Is there a sculpture of a different fish at each one? I don't know. But we're at the start here, which is the crab sculpture. We're going to have to get a picture of this crab sculpture. Not the best picture because the sun's in the wrong place at the moment. But it's a big crab made out of metal. It's pretty cool. It's the right colour. Let's come to this side, Mazik, so you'll see it better. There you go, look at that. What a beauty. Oh yeah, we can get a nice selfie here, Mazzy. Can you look at the other side of it? It's got eyes as well. Are you looking? Yeah. Check out the, it's like, oh, it's actually the archway there, look. <laughs> at the end of a bench here and there's writing on it. Let's just see what this writing says. We're just not getting off as bikes, are we? We're just yeah, really lazy. Make us lazy. <laughs> oh, it's telling you all about the history of the pier and the promenade. Nice story if you've got time. I've been here, Mazzy. I've metal detected here, I remember it well. We have got some really cool locks for these, haven't we? Yeah, but we're not leaving them today. No, we're not leaving them today. So Mazzy's yeah. going to stay here 
yeah. with the bikes. I'm just going to check out up here, see if there's anything historic to tell you about. One thing we have to work on is the camera. I think we're going to have to get a smaller camera because I've got I've got it on the backpack at the moment and I can't be bothered getting the big one out, so I'm just doing it on my phone. This is what it used to look like. So there's the towers we've just walked through and there's the pier, which is no longer here. Towers up here. I came here, what, what time of year was it? Probably October, November, and it was dead up here. There was no one around. Lovely little place. And these do look pretty cool, but there's no information board or anything about them. What does it mean? Would you like one of my interesting facts? Yeah. About one mile off there, in that direction, there's actually a church, a 13th century church called St. Mary the Virgin, which eroded away, lost to erosion by the mid 15th century. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't you just love to go scuba diving out there and finding any treasures from the church? Yeah. And the award for camper of the day goes to this beauty. <laughs> oh, okay. That is fantastic. You know how we're telling you about that church? Yeah. A mile out that, out yeah. yonder, there's another one, Mazzy. Another one? Yep, yeah, and this one's only 300 yards. 300 yards out here, there's a church called St. Peter's Althorn. Oh, 800 yards out. Sorry, how did you know that? Because I'm read the signs. All right, all right. Don't tell them we're reading signs. One of the sister churches. So there must just be the two out there. So we've come along the front. How many miles have we done? I've done 5.4. 5.4 in total on your bike. I have done 1.8. But in total, I've, on yeah, mine. Yeah, I've been around the campsite getting a bit of practice in. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just come along here. Yeah. You know, it's a nice start, isn't it? But what we do find, we've found this quite a lot, get some dirty looks off people. Because you're on a path, sort of, with a bike. Yeah, but it's a bike cycle track, because yeah. we've had signs. Sign here, look. You know, this is for families and for bikes. So, we'll come on here, so... We're getting some really mucky looks and some people won't get out of the way for you. No, but we're driving safely and gently and slowly, so... We are at the moment, but I don't know how long I can go without losing my temper and running someone over. <laughs> don't be silly. That last woman really got on my nerves. Come on. <laughs> so we've come to the end. The end of the promenade. Good job we had bikes, Mazzy. I'd have been gutted if I'd have come all the way here. And it was a dead end. Listen, if we'd stayed up there... Yeah. And you made me come back down here, we would have gone all the way along. It is lovely, isn't it? It is. Should we go sit on the beach? Beautiful day. Oh, don't worry. Eight months since I stopped <laughs> eating fish, Mazzy. Mm -hmm. I was just about to get fish and chips for the first time in eight months. Shut. Yeah, it, well, it says I open. We saw a guy walk out, but yeah. So I still haven't had fish and chips. I might get some in the next two. I, I do fancy fish and chips, yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, the seaside. And it's tea Why time. Why yeah, it is actually quite late in the day. We gave in on the uh, Withensea fish trail because yeah. we couldn't find the first one. But we have just come across one look. Thornback Ray. So that's all we were looking for. I would never have seen that. No. Now we know what they look like, I'm sure we could find them all, yeah, but, but... the next one might be on a brick in a house or something. You, you never, never know. know. On the hunt for another fish and chip shop. And a house. And a house. <laughs> just passed about six fish and chip shops. They're all shut for yeah. some reason. Uh, yeah, we're just looking at house prices, as, as we, we say. <laughs> we were looking at getting one here <coughs> to rent. I think we still will one day. Oh, you love it here, don't you? I love it. I, I've never felt so happy. It's so nice here. Uh, just checking out the prices like there, look, 95 grand. I know it's basic, but you've got like a bungalow there, 170. That's a good well, guess of the prices. I mean, that's cheap, isn't it? 117. There's even one over here for 60,000. It's like a little, tiny little thing. It's all right. 130,000 for that. Lovely. So we've had us ride. Fantastic, love it. About four miles I think we did in total there. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, we're only out an hour, if that. Really, is that all? Yeah. 
A really nice time, wasn't it? Brilliant. I think the what best purchase we've ever made. It is. It? You know, four miles. We'd never go four yeah. miles in a day together because of his legs and that. Yeah, yeah. So that's a first for us to start with. Um, we d we have decided. I think we need to do something about the camera. Either get a basket on the front or get a new one of these new smaller cameras. Action kind no, of. No, I don't mean an action one. I mean no. a vloggy one. Yeah. We're going to put action ones on the front of the bikes. Yeah. But we need a new vlogging camera which is smaller. Uh-huh. Um, to take around with us. But wonderful. So join Brilliant. us tomorrow. Well, that isn't the end of the video. No. I'm going to have fish and chips now, actually. You got fish and chips. You're not happy about something. What are you mourning about Look. in the background? Look. Which I thought was curry sauce leaking. It's not. It's pure grease. Yeah, well, that's best bit. This is why I don't eat fish and chips. Let's have a look then. Everyone wants to have a look at your fish and chips, don't they? More importantly, I want to look at my fish and chips. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Yeah. That looks like a good fish and chips to me. Well? Well what? What's it like? Well, you know, I stopped eating fish. Yes. And you know, it was because of that programme, Sea Spiracy. Yeah. Which tries to put you off eating fish. Yeah. Well, I've had, this is my second fish sandwich already. <laughs> and all I've got to say is, Sea Spiracy, you can kiss my... Mmm. 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 I am now officially just going to live off fish and chips every day for the next four months. Make up for what I've missed. Say good morning! Morning. Good morning! You're still in the mood, aren't you? <laughs> yes. You've just completed a video. Morning about the carav <laughs> camping and caravanning club. And it's rolled you up, hasn't it? Yeah, you know how you talk <laughs> about something and it reminds you about how mad you were at the time when it got you mad? Well, it just, it's got me mad again, so I'm in a bad mood again. And the strimmer man, isn't And the strimmer oh, man, the strimmer man. There's two, actually. Yeah, it's like surround sound today, isn't it? <laughs> it's just done round our van. Yeah, I'm going to go out and take him out and show him. Um, you could hear bits splattering up against Stones the van. up against the van. I'll show you how close it came was. round the side here and there were things coming in the van. Yes. Let me take them outside and show them. As you can see, Dan was sitting there, I was sitting there. He was doing along this bit here, right? I had to run in because we were getting hit. Now if you look at Dan's chair, you can see all like the little bits that have been flicked up. It was going in the van, but the worst one was, come round here, look. This is how close he was doing to our fan. Up and down here and along there. All up there we were hearing all like stone chips. I have checked it over, but I'm not noticing anything. But it's rude, isn't it? Surely they're not allowed to do that. Also, he's got a proper, a proper industrial strimmer. So it's not like it's your little garden one. Then anyway, Ray, what are we doing for the day? Absolutely nothing. No, we're not going for a bike ride. I don't know. Hello. Hello. What do you want? <laughs> I just want to do one last test, Mazzy. With what? On the Monster X. Now, before anyone asks, this is actually sold now. We're going to pack it up as soon as we finish this. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick test on it. See how long it would run the van. What do you think? Yeah. I've plugged it in. I've yeah. turned it on. It's at 50% charge at the moment. 51% charge and it's saying four hours so you can double that eight hours it would do that do you want to just plug the fridge in Mazzy because we haven't really got much in there at the moment why um, is it saying a 177 <coughs> outcome though when it, nothing's plugged well the van is obviously using 177 watts on something there's That's a few things plugged in well let's put the fridge on so it would do eight hours the okay, so I've got another, I've got the Jackery one on charge in there at the moment, apparently. So Mazzy's just put the fridge on, let's see, there it's going up. So 300. I'll plug the Jackery? No, I'll leave it on. So it's charging a Jackery and it's charging the fridge up, and I think a couple of other little parts, and it's saying two hours. So you could have your fridge running. Use your plugs and stuff. Two hours, Mazzy, that's not bad. Uh, sorry, so that's four hours, isn't it? Yeah. 
You have to share. <laughs> yeah. Four hours that would do. That's really good. Let me unplug the jacker. I'm very impressed. She wants to unplug the jackery for some reason. Okay. So we're down to 199. That's how many watts our fridge is taking out. How long would it last like that? Oh, three, six hours. Six hours, so you could have your fridge going. Six hours. You know, and then if you need to use your plugs for anything else, charge anything else up, obviously it'll reduce that time. Mm, but up so to six hours of power. It's good, but it's a waste of energy, isn't it? Because this can power an awful lot more, couldn't it? Yes. You know what I mean? A fridge for six hours. Can't justify that, can you? Well, you can if you're desperate. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> but I find that pretty good. Six hours. Can you hear the lawnmower, man? Strimming. Still. He's out there, doing our heads in, proper doing our heads in today. Just done another test, another speed test. You can't even see it, can you? It's on the dashboard, on the router. Um, and I know people are interested in this, and some people are undecided whether they want it or not. So I'll just show you the results. I'll tell you the results from here. On our phones, just as we had it in the past, with the doors open, two doors open, um, 5.6 download with the router 52.4 download upload without the router 0.43 with the router 2.76 so massive difference on the download yeah about six times better on the upload but still not great but hey it's better than it was we couldn't upload without that router from here, but we've actually uploaded about four videos from here. So just to confirm, so far so good, and so far the results are fantastic. Rural internet. I know we're not doing product reviews anymore, we've already done a review on this, but I will put a link in the description to this, and the All Powers Monster X generator. But we are trying to get back into vlogs now. It's been that long since we did them. I can't stop talking about the products we've got. <laughs> you laughing at? Maz is dragging me on a walk. We're actually walking t today, not biking. Apparently there's somewhere on the... Is it on the campsite? Well, yeah, it's just over there. Okay. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> there's somewhere here where you can actually go fishing. There's a lake. It's a lovely little lake. It is... It's a nice campsite. We can it's tell them where really it is now because nice. we're not here when well, they watch this. I didn't know where it is. It's called, I think it's called the Willows is it? in Withensee. And lovely. it's an independent one. It isn't one of the clubs. Yeah. And it was very cheap. I think, what did I say? £19 a night. £18, £19 a yeah. night with electric. Yeah. And it's lovely. It's like a caravan, static caravan holiday place. Guy. Proper holiday place. Um, but small. Nice. Oh, it's really friendly though. The couple who work here are lovely. The people who own it, who run it, yeah. really nice. Um, yeah, we've had trouble with lawn mowing and strimming. That's unfortunate. It's I think fine. we've just been unfortunate and had the wrong days, haven't yeah. we? It's obviously they only do that now and again. They don't um, have a lot in facilities here, wise. Oh, well, no, they have laundry, shower blocks, and all that. Yeah, I think they're new as well. Yeah, I think brand they were new. built in the last few years. Yeah. There's a clubhouse which they've just built, or they're just building. No, it's not built. It needs refurbing and all that. All right, so they're still on that. A little park. They're expanding. Oh, maybe that's going to be the new clubhouse then. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Quite a big one as well. Nice little park. I'll tell you what we heard last night as well. What did we hear? People doing karaoke, weren't they? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know where that was coming from exactly. Really badly. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Del Boy, where they do that song, Quying, Quying, Quying? quying. Yeah. Can't remember who sings it now, but someone was singing that worse than they did <laughs> on uh, Only Fools and Horses. Uh, anyway, yes, there is a fishing lake here, and here it is. It's very close, Mazzy. Yeah. Oh, they had a fountain in it yesterday. Now, this, it on? this is where the rubbish goes. I was oh, wondering. Yeah, that's what I was telling you about, babe. Look, bikes. 
They're getting rid of some bikes. Now, if I hadn't had my electric bikes, I would have took one. Well, I would have asked them if I could have had one of these. Do you really think they're throwing them away? What? Well, they're in the bin store. Well, it might just be I reckon some it's... people who work here and they've just put them here while yeah. they're working. I reckon it's kids that are left them, isn't it? I'll tell you what, they've definitely been thrown away because the chains are rusty <laughs> as hell. They've been left outside. They've been they? left. Yeah. But you know. Your table and chair thing now. A like good do up thing, yeah. isn't it? They've got yeah. no money. And that's one of them picnic table things, isn't it, with the chairs at each side? Yeah. You know, free to a good home <laughs> if anyone wants it. <laughs> Quite impressed with that. Oh no, it's not a bear. What is that? Oh, chairs. <laughs> yeah, the fountain ain't on. Um, so the fishing lake itself, obviously you need a license to go fishing anyway But the fishing lake, I've just been reading, it's £4 per day Or £15 per week Or I think it was £32 per year So very, very reasonable That's It's small the was, There's a golf course here as well somewhere where you can play a bit of golf Oh it's over there look so, Maybe you have to pay for that as well, I don't know. So why haven't we done that? What, golf? We've had lovely weather. We love playing <laughs> golf. Because <laughs> we haven't stopped. We've actually been really busy, haven't we? I'd have loved to have played golf. It looks like a nice little pitch and putt does that. No, nah, you would have cheated. Now oh, this oh, lake, it's a small lake, but it all depends on the size of the fish inside the lake, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. For four quid a day, I think I'd really, really have enjoyed that. Yeah, it's a nice place to sit anyway. I am a professional fisherman, as you all know, I have got a fishing rod. I haven't got a license at the moment, but I might have to get one because I'm off up to do a bit of salmon fishing up in Scotland with my professional setup. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad she brought me down here now. Oh, she's just talking about ducks. Yeah. That's something else to discuss, Mazzy. What? Laying in bed last night. <laughs> what? Laying in bed last night, had the skylight oh, yeah. window open. And I looked up. Seagull, about two foot away from my head, just staring through the skylight at my head like that. <laughs> and I think it was as shocked as I was. <laughs> <laughs> that's an experience, actually. Um, for anyone that's going to get a motorhome, let me just warn you of your very first night in the motorhome or a caravan when you hear them birds or a seagull on the roof. It always freaks you out, doesn't it? Yes, especially the first night. We had two baby seagulls on there and they yeah. were playing. You just don't expect it. It sounded like, like they were destroying it, didn't it? Well, it sounded also like someone was breaking in. <laughs> it was yeah. scary. And outside, I don't know, they must get fed by certain people who come here. We didn't feed them anything. No. I had fish and chips the other day and we really wanted to give no. this little baby one right outside his door, a foot away from his door, just looking at us like that. Yeah, um, he, could, he could smell him, couldn't he? But we, we resisted, we didn't give him anything. No. But, uh, yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful campsite and Lovely spot. Here. Now, I've got a question for you all, by the way. We've just been discussing mm -hmm. bonfire night. Oh, right. Oh. As we've told people, I don't know what she's up to. As <laughs> we've told people, we're not doing a special Halloween like we did last year. Yeah. Far too much work, but we might do... A bonfire night. I think any night you do is far too much work. The fact is, we've done that, been there, let's try something new this year. Yeah. 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 And what we're thinking of is bonfire night. You know, we'll make some bonfire toffee, we'll have pie and peas. We'll get the barbecue out, make hot dogs that night. You don't have hot dogs on, on bonfire night. You do. No, you don't. You might do down south, but we're heading north. Oh, you do. You go to a firework place and you buy a hot dog and burgers. No, you don't. Toffee yeah. apples and obviously. Parking. Maybe a fire. I don't know about the fire yet. We'll see. Yeah. But maybe fireworks. And this is where you guys come in. We're thinking of doing a live. A live? All, all, not all day and all night, but we'll do a long night time a long live. Li a long live. Yeah. But the, ideally, we want to be in the middle of nowhere, like 10 miles away from anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, and set off fireworks. So we would obviously warn people beforehand and during the live that we're going to be setting fireworks off. So if you've got pets, yeah. uh, stop watching us for now. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about that? 
We've already discussed and decided months and months and months ago that we are spending Christmas in Scotland this year. So that's already been organised. So we're going to be spending our very first Christmas in the van, me and you. Not yes. only in the van, but we're going to be in Scotland. Uh, We've never spent a Christmas in the van. Not? Never. Wow. Yeah, well, never. What about in Ireland? We got there in January. And we left in November, let's um, say. So we've never spent a Never spent a Christmas. a Christmas in the van. Yeah. Wow. I do remember you rushed to see me on Christmas Eve one day. And then we stayed at my mum's, didn't we? No, you rushed to come and see me. Do you remember? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the plan for bonfire yeah. night. We're thinking we might, you know, set up in the middle of nowhere in yeah. Scotland and uh, have a good night of it, yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Would what you be interested think? in that? Would give you turn some, up? Give us some ideas what we can do that night to sort of involve you guys again, because we could dress. One. We could dress up. Oh. I could dress you up as a guy. I can dress you up as a fork. <laughs> a fork? Guy forks, innit? Oh. What? <sighs> so we have been a bit sketchy on when we're getting to Scotland. And I think we've decided, we've already just booked somewhere, we should be crossing the border on Thursday next week, which is seven days away. Oh, really? Yes. I um, didn't know that. Yeah, so I've just, I've just booked us two nights beforehand on the way up there. And uh, I'm quite excited, are you? Yeah. Especially yeah. after being on the bikes yesterday. Oh, that was I can, so good. I can really see how our lives are going to be changed yeah. in Scotland. Yeah, I and mean, I'm not just saying that to pick up these bikes. We. It's, it do not matter if they're pedal bikes. No, Any, anything which can get that. you. Yeah. Anything what can get you four miles, five miles, ten, twenty miles. Yeah. Um, where we couldn't do that before. That is a massive life changer for us. It was quite exhausting. I went to bed last night. I got home and I thought I was all right, but then it was yeah, all we're quite tight. Well, we're going to have to turn around because it's sun. It yeah. was quite tiring, wasn't it? Yeah. But the bikes and the internet, having internet, I think them two are going to be massive life changers for us. Yeah. So, Scotland, yeah. it's not going to be like we've been to Scotland before, it's going to be like we're going to Scotland with a completely different outlook on it because we've yeah, got more options. Outlook. And we'll be staying on campsites, which we've never done up there. Oh, maybe a couple. We've stayed on one campsite Just in Scotland. Just want to show them this. Brand new static caravan. 35,000. 35,000 for a new. And you can pick them up as little as 4,000 on this site as well. That's that's mad, isn't it? That's about the going rate, Mazzy, for the Within no, oh No, not down my way. Yeah, well, we're not down your way. Are <laughs> when we? I was going to buy one, it was about 70 grand for the one I wanted. That's well cheap, isn't it? I've stayed in car parks where you come from, which cost more money than a caravan up here. <laughs> right, rip off down there. <laughs> anyway, I think we, we've enjoyed as well. We're going to leave this at this. Yep. Um, and yeah, just one more week and we're into Scotland. I'm getting so Yay. excited. Are you? Do the Scottish Highland dance, whatever it's called. Good. Good. <laughs> Ow! You just kicked me. <laughs> Bye.